This is another example of summing finite series using the method of differences. In part A, we're asked to show that r cubed minus r plus 1 over r, r plus 1 is identical to r minus 1 plus 1 over r minus 1 over r plus 1 for r not equal to 0 or negative 1. In part B, we need to find the sum from r equals 1 to n of r cubed minus r plus 1 over r, r plus 1, expressing your answer as a single fraction in its simplest form. OK, on this bit right here, let's just think logically. It's pointless starting this side. Let's start with this side, and what we'll do, we'll get a common denominator. The common denominator is going to be r, r plus 1. If we set up now a fraction, what do we need to multiply this one by? Well, we need to multiply it by all of this denominator right here. So we get r, and then we get r multiplied by r plus 1. And then on this one, we say to ourselves, what are we missing from here? Well, we need to now put minus r and then r plus 1. On this one, what are we missing? We're just missing now the plus r plus 1. And then finally, we're missing on this part the r. OK, so that's what we've got. And now we can expand all of this out. So what I've got now, this is going to give me r squared. So I'm going to have r squared multiplied by r, which is going to give me r cubed r squared multiplied by positive 1 is going to give me r squared. Then we're going to have minus r squared, minus r, plus r, plus 1, minus r. And that's all going to be over now r, r plus 1. We can see the r cubed will remain. The r squared are cancelling. The r and minus r will cancel here, leaving us plus 1, minus r, over the quantity r r plus 1. And that's it. Nice and straightforward. So you just combine in a fraction. Don't try and dissect this left-hand side um, using either partial fractions or trying any polynomial long division or anything crazy. Just go at it like so. So r can't be equal to 0, r can't be equal to negative 1. Okay, what we need to do now is find uh, the sum from r equals 1 to n of r cubed minus r plus 1 over r, r plus 1. Let's just consider this. This isn't something that we've seen before. Usually we have the following scenario. What we've generally got is now the difference, um, in, and we have to some extent in here. What I'm going to write is the following. We can now say by the method of differences that r minus 1 to n, if we sum this of r cubed minus r plus 1 over the quantity r, r plus 1, that will be equal now to the sum from r equals 1 to n of r minus 1 plus 1 over r, that's like that, and then minus 1 over r plus 1. What I want to do is focus firstly on this bit right here. This bit we recognise. This is what we've been doing. What we need to appreciate right now is that these are standard results. In FP1 we saw that the sum from r equals 1 to n of r was given to be n over 2 n plus 1. We also saw that the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 was going to be equal to n. So if we consider what we're going to have here, we are summing all of these right now. So what I'm going to end up with is minus, um, sorry, positive n over 2 n plus 1 minus this. I've just summed these two terms right here. Okay, This is what we've got here. So this is going to be minus n. I then need to take this and add it to the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r minus 1 over r plus 1. And this is where we're going to use the method of differences. So let's do that then. If we've got 1 over r minus 1 over r plus 1, and we take r equal to 1, that's going to give me 1 minus 1 half. If we take r equal to 2, that gives me 1 half minus 1 third. r is equal to 3, we get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. We go right the way up, dot, 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 and we do r is equal to n minus 1. I should really put r is equal to. So we get 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n. We take r is equal to n, we get 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. And this is using the method of differences that we looked at in the previous load of videos, how many we've done. So using our method of differences, we know that this is going to cancel with this, that one is going to cancel with that one, 
that one is going to cancel with the one below. We can see the 1 over n and the minus 1 over n. That one will go with the 1 above. So what we can now state is that the sum, and we can say the sum from r equals 1 to n of 1 over r minus 1 over r plus 1 is simply going to be 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. So all we need to do now is add it to this right here. That's what we've just found. We've just found this and we need to add it to those. So let's have a look at what we're going to have. Um, we've got this, uh, no, in fact, we need to add it to those. I don't know why I've put it there. Uh, so it's, this is what we're adding. This is the sum we found. We need to add it to these, don't we? So let's just combine this fraction. We, what we're going to have then is n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1, which is going to quite clearly give us n over n plus 1. So what I've done, I've just combined this fraction here. So what we can now say is the following. We're going to add this. We're going to have n over 2, n plus 1, minus n plus n over n plus 1. Okay? So this is what we need to now uh, just add up and make it into a tidy little fraction. Hopefully that's made sense. What I've done, I've split it up, and then we're just going to add all of this. So common denominator is going to be 2, and then we're going to have n plus 1. Okay? And I say to myself now, what do I need to uh, do with this one? And the answer is now I need to multiply it by, if we're going to have uh, the common denominator of n plus 1, I've got n plus 1 squared. Then on this one, I need a 2 for n and the n plus 1. And on this one, I simply need now the 2. So this is the scenario that we have. So we've got now n, n plus 1 all squared minus 2n n plus 1 plus 2n all over n plus 1. Taking a common factor of n out, we're going to have n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, I've taken a common factor of n out, so we're going to have minus 2n minus 2. And then what we're going to have on the end is the plus 2n. Okay, so that's what we wind up with. So what I've done, I've subtracted all of this um, out of here. Uh, so that should be, uh, let's have a look at that, that should be 2n, uh, that's right, 2n uh, plus 2, my apologies, that one just says, uh, shouldn't it, let's see, I've already taken, yeah, these ones need to go, don't they, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, apologies if you're not following, I'm just trying to make this slightly simpler, because this is the, the so-called easy bit, um, and then we've got the n plus 1. So let's just tidy this up here. Okay, so what do I get left with? I get n on the outside, then we're going to have n squared, uh, the plus 2n and the minus, um, the minus n are going to be, uh, uh, minus 2n are going to be disappearing, aren't they? So they're off, so they're gone. Then we've got the minus 2 plus a 2, that goes, and we're just then left with plus 1. Okay, and that's all going to be over to the quantity n plus 1. So as a final fraction, that's what it should look like. So hopefully you've followed at least up to here and kind of got through my useless fraction work. But this is what we should wind up with. So we can now say that the sum from r equals 1 to n of r cubed minus r plus 1 over r, r plus 1, as a simple single fraction, is n, n squared plus 1 over 2n plus 1.